Hey guys, I'm doing a uh, little modification uh, to a servo. Uh, recently I uh, finished up my uh, do-it-yourself head tracker with Eldrino and uh, so basically you seen in my earlier video um, stock servo throw on it is about 90 degrees total so you're getting about 45 and 45 to equal the 90 so there's a modification that you can do uh, to give more tra more travel uh, basically you can either I want to I want it uh, a total of 180 so what you have to do is add a couple of resistors uh, recommend it 2.4k so that will give you two of those in series will give you about 180 travel and if you double them up uh, there's not very much room in here so you would probably have to get uh, two four 4 4.4s anything over um, anything over 5000 should give you full 360 but in the um, in the servo, you'd have to take out a gear because there's a little uh, a stop there, and if you don't take the stop out, uh, it'll burn up your servo. So basically, I'm going to try to get this on recording. It's pretty tedious soldering, so bear with me, and we'll try to get through it. And I'll sh kind of basically show you. It's pretty straightforward. It's just that it's like you know pretty tedious soldering. <laughs> so because uh, there's not much room in here so and basically if you can see I've cut the, cut the resistors down just enough to get um, just enough to get a solder joint there because uh, there really isn't much room so you, you can just snip them to size however you like there I've already got these tinned and I've already got the the back taken off, one of the bottom taken off the servo. And as you can see, there isn't really much much room. So I'm try to get this in, in the camera. Basically you just need to add your two resistors. In here, there's three to the pot, three wires to the pot. Uh, you just you have to add a resistor to the two outermost ones. So you can put one here and then you put one on the red wire so just black and red so we'll do one at a time so we'll, uh, we'll start with the red one first and what I like to do there's the, on each uh, each little wire uh, there's a um, there's a little tab sticking off so what I like to do uh, is bend it back so it just gives a little bit more room for uh, there's a little bit more room for the resistor to fit because when it is sit in there so if I'm going to just bend it back and solder it on and then we'll just tap the wire to one side so we'll uh, start with the red one first if you had a, um, a smaller soldering iron uh, that would help just to get in there a little bit I'm using just my normal 30 watt iron. I didn't bother to take out my other one for this. So it doesn't take much to uh, release them. So we'll just do one at a time, just not to get confused. I like to solder it to the wire first, seeing it's out. And I'm just going to bend that pot back. You can do that gently, you don't want to break it off. Just bend it back like that, and that'll give a little bit more room. So I'm um, just going to retin this wire a little bit. <coughs> Doesn't need much. We we'll just a little bit of solder. It doesn't matter which way you put the resistor. doesn't take much. Now this is the tricky part. 
You need to use a pair of needle nose pliers basically to get in. You just make sure you move your other wire set of the way if you need to. So try to get this in here now. Hold that make sure that's on. Now that we got one in, now we get to move to the next one. So it's just a little bit tedious and you just gotta kind of take your time and so I'm just gonna take the black one. Like that. Get the black one off. Push this back again. And you might need a smaller one. Now we'll just uh, solder our resistor on. fingers but just to get kind of situated like that there we go then we'll just bend them, push them down, push the second one down here a bit. Hopefully it doesn't break off. Take your time. Now that you got them uh, pushed down and kind of out of the way, basically before you put everything back together, you just want to want to test it. So I'm just going to plug it into uh, channel two, it's an aileron. See. Let's see if it gives us uh, a 180. It's almost 90 that way. And it's a pretty good 90 that way. But I think that might be just the uh, hextronic servos. But I'm pleased with that. So all basically now all's left to do is tidy it up and get it back in. There is a, a certain way. It kind of sits on an angle. If you have another one, you can uh, have a look. I like to spread these two wires out. Tuck everything down that way. And bend these straight down so it's not best you can. There we go. So now we'll just get our four screws. Get our uh, four screws in there. Pretty tight fit this one is. I did another one and it went uh, pretty good. A simple mod that you can uh, make your own 180 degree servo. Like I was saying, if you want to, uh, if you want to make it full rotation, you got to take out a gear that there's a little pin. Um, one of the gears here in the center, you have to take that one out and you have to double these up. So that was uh, pretty much straightforward on how to make a uh, 
a nice pan 180 uh, degrees circle for yourself. And uh, hopefully you've found it useful and uh, thanks for watching.